This right here is the brand new facility located in Fairfax City. It's a 6700 square foot recovery center and today it was a moment of celebration as local leaders and addiction advocates came out for a ribbon cutting. But to truly understand how we got here, we need to take it back 10 years and introduce you to one 21 year old who inspired all of this. He was an amazing guy. I, I tell people, and I'm really not exaggerating, if you knew him for 15 minutes, you would not forget him. Mark Atwood, joining us on his back porch, is telling us about his son, Christopher. Most of the time, he was the life of the party, um, and uh, yet had a, a great depth of feeling to him. He had enormous uh, empathy for people who were suffering from all kinds of things. That's in part because Christopher also was suffering. His dad says he was dealing with depression, which is likely why he turned to heroin at just 15 years old. In February 2013, his son died from an overdose right there in the family home. How often do you think about him? All the time. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, it, even now it's been 10 years and probably a day doesn't go by that he doesn't pop into my mind 15, 20 times. But amid the grief, Mark and his family felt a calling to try and help others avoid the same fate. Just days after he passed away that we just got the message, we've got to do something about this. So they started the Chris Atwood Foundation, which focuses on harm reduction. That is keeping drug users alive long enough to find help. Mark says they've saved countless lives by giving out Narcan, which reverses overdoses. And it sometimes strikes me uh, rather emotionally that you could fill an auditorium with people who are alive today because Christopher isn't. And now this facility is the next big step, a place of refuge for people trying to escape addiction and for those still grappling with this terrible disease. Sometimes we'll, we'll come across people who will tell us, you know, I would have been dead, but, but for you know, what your organization is doing and that, uh, you know, gets you. <laughs> the family of Chris Atwood is hopeful that all of this work they're doing will save lives here in Northern Virginia. Reporting here in Fairfax, I'm Evan Kozloff, WUSA 9.